So we have the drive lines out of the uh, motorcycle right here, and then out of the Can-Am. These U-joints have uh, practically no articulation. Look at this, as opposed to this. Okay, just show you again. That's maxed out right there. So this isn't gonna work at all. We're gonna ditch this completely, but what I'd really like here is that uh, you push this uh, little spring, which is like that, this comes off. I really like this idea. We are gonna machine out this inner diameter so this yoke can then slip into it. We are gonna put a few keyways or machine something in to give it some rigidity, and then we are gonna TIG weld all the way around this yoke, okay? That way we are gonna create our new, um, pretty much a slip, well this is not really a slip yoke, but our new attachment. And that way we can eliminate all this and keep this, which is what we need. So I'm really liking this idea and uh, we'll get back when this is all finished. All right, just one more quick rundown. Took this off, okay. This will now become this. So the ears will be machined off and the ID of this will be opened up to accept uh, this yoke. And then we're gonna probably put a key or something to help it from uh, spinning and then TIG weld it completely solid. That way this just becomes one piece, just like this. So I'm pretty pumped about this idea. Um, it's a little strange how this can pivot that play this has. It does have a snap pin right here. So you push that retainer in and this slips on. But that's how it was from the factory. And I mean, they had a U-joint set up running on here. I'm just, you know, I'm gonna adapt it to a Can-Am U-joint. Hopefully it all works out. And uh, we will see. So off to the machine shop. Look what we have here. That is a Kawasaki output shaft. So this would go to the back of the motor right here. This would be the back of the, the uh, case. This is the Kawasaki factory U-joint. Cut the tabs off right here. We machined this to fit in it. We drilled it and put a dowel pin, hardened steel, and then TIG weld this thing completely solid. So now I have the snap ring or the retainer out. It'll be just like that. And now we have a Can-Am drive shaft that can couple up to the Kawasaki engine. And there's your factory Kawasaki drive shaft that we'll no longer be using as a comparison, but this is gonna be a great setup. I love that it has a slip joint back here. That way when it flexes or moves, we have a little bit of play and it won't be putting pressure on the U-joints or the actual input shaft or the rear diff. But this is looking good. I'm gonna get a new U-joint ordered because this was a used bike, okay? What are we missing here? There's no retainer. I don't see one on the inside. I definitely see one here. And I definitely don't see one here. And I see the groove for it. So this is just for a mock-up purpose, but now you can see we actually have a drive shaft that can spin the wheels. Now, what's the problem with this? That's the problem. This needs to be on this side. Um, we are definitely have enough articulation within our U-joints, but I'm gonna have to notch the frame right here. Okay, I'm gonna take this out completely and then have this on this side. And that way we can match up with our output shaft. Now also dropping, cutting this frame and making the cradle is important because I have to drop the motor down low enough to be in line with our output shaft. The reason why is that you have this torsion bar that goes across and if I go up any higher you know I definitely have some play but not a whole lot I'm gonna have to cut this out as well maybe take a piece of square tubing or even round tubing square tubing would be ideal because so I can get some more um, square footage in here well this might hit again all ideas but I have to make something here and notch this frame out because we need to move all this over. But overall, I'm really happy with the progress. This 
is the next phase along with the cradle and I'm gonna need a day or two to really dedicate to this build uh, physically and mentally. But I wanna see this motor in this bike and I want this drivetrain to all work. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. So if you like this video, you like the progress, hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.